Mommies! Hello guys! So, welcome back to our channel. So, I suppose that you are here in this video because number one, you are struggling on a low breast milk supply. Number two, you are a pregnant woman na gusto mong magpa-breastfeed in the future. Or number three, uh, you are formula feeding but gusto mo rin i-breastfeed si baby. Or number four, pwedeng gusto mong magpa-dede kay baby kaya na you don't know you don't know kung paano. So, you came at the right video, you came at the right channel because I will teach you how to increase your breast milk supply. So, konting background lang. Hi, Mami She, and I have a 2-year-old baby, 27 months old na siya. So, until now, he is breastfeeding. And yeah, I can say that yung breastfeeding journey namin successful. Although, it is hard at first because yung mga first few months talaga, nag-struggle ako ng low breast milk supply. So, here I am now, sharing to you lahat ng mga tips, lahat ng mga nalaman ko kung paano magparami ng breast milk supply. This is the most complete guide for increasing your breast milk supply. So, number one is, based on my experience, is correct latching. Uh, I will show you the picture kung paano yung correct latching ng baby sa pagbe-breastfeed. So, yan. Ang correct latching, kailangan tama yung pag-latch or pag-dede ni baby sa'yo. Kailangan talagang buka yung bibig niya para makuha niya lahat ng, ng milk sa dede mo. So, um, based on my experience, si Lucas, mali yung latching niya. Although marunong siyang magdede, kaya lang dahil maliit yung bibig niya nung baby siya, kahit yung breast uh, kahit yung breastfeeding consultant na nakausap ko, sabi niya marunong siyang dumede, kaya lang dahil maliit yung bibig niya, kaya nagsugat-sugat yung mga nipples ko noon. So, it is very very important that you correct mo muna yung latch ni baby sa iyo para maiwasan yung pagsusugat ng mga nipples na ng mga nipples mo and para hindi para talagang makuha niya yung talagang breast milk sa loob ng ng breast mo. So, yun yung pinaka number one tip ko is you should correct the latch of your baby. Number two tip which is ito yung pinaka pinaka uh, importante is direct latch. When you say direct latch, talagang dumidedi sa ba si baby sa iyo, hindi ka lang nagpa-pump, hindi ka lang uh, hindi mo lang uh, hindi ka lang nag-hand express kung hindi talagang you let your baby latch to you as in latch 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 and li latch talaga yung pinaka important because uh, yung mga baby sila yung perfect na talaga empty ng boobs and yung number one rule sa breastfeeding is kapag uh, the more na the more milk na na empty the more na magpo-produce yan it is a supply and demand rule sa breast milk natin. So, kung ang pump is, halimbawa, nakakapag-pump ka ng 2 oz na milk, which is parang ang konti lang nun, di ba? Hindi yun, di, hindi yun, hindi 2 oz yung nakukuha ng baby mo. Nakakukuha siya ng more than 2 oz. Wow. So, dahil nga magaling silang magdede, kumbaga sila talaga yung perfect na mag-empty ng boobs. So, pinakakailangan natin talaga is direct latch. Hayaan mo lang siya na mag-latch, na mag-latch sa'yo. Lalong-lalo na yung mga first few days. Kahit na feeling mo walang lumalabas sa'yo, hayaan mo lang siya. Ako nun si Lucas talagang feeling ko walang lumalabas, pero hinayaan ko lang siya mag-latch ng mag-latch. As long na umiihi siya or dumudumi siya, ibig sabihin meron siyang nadedede. Kaya yon so dapat talaga hanggat kaya, papadedein mo si baby sa'yo. So, for pumping moms naman, it, sabi ko nga kanina, it doesn't mean na 2 oz lang yung nakukuha mo sa pagpapump mo, eh yun na yung laman ng daddy mo. No. So, wag kang titingin sa numbers or sa owns ng nakukuha mo. And, if you are pumping, you should at least aim to pump 2 to 3 hours uh, two to, uh, every 2 to 3 hours a day. So, halimbawa, nag-pump ka ng 12 o'clock noon, dapat pump ka ulit ng 2 p.m. or 3 p.m. para yung na-empty na para madalas ma-empty yung boobs mo. And madalas din siyang mag-refill. So, ganun yun. Dahil nga supply and demand yung ating uh, yung ating breast milk. Ganun siya kagaling. So, breastfeeding tip number 3 is yung mga tinatawag nating galactogogs. Okay? Yung mga galactogogs, these are food or supplements that you can take para dumami yung breast milk supply mo. So, alam nyo ba, lahat na lang na nakikita ko sa para dumami yung breast milk, lahat yan tinry ko. And I will show, I will tell you today kung ano yung mga nag-work sa akin. And kung ano din yung mga tinry ko na hindi nag-work, baka kasi sakali mag-work din sa inyo. So, yung mga tinry ko na hindi nag-work like uh, fenugreek, legendary, yan, I will show them to you here. 
uh, dito sa screen na to. Legendary. Tapos, uh, ano pa yung mga, yung life oil na malunggay capsule na talak. Ayan, yung mga, basta lahat ng mga malunggay capsule, tinry ko na. Pero, yung talagang mga, yung talagang nag, uh, nag-work sa akin, which is talagang dumami yung breast milk supply ko. Yung hindi na umiiyak si baby, kapag dumedede siya, nakakatulog siya ng mahimbe, madami yung pupo niya, nag-gain siya ng weight, is number one is, yun nga, mega malunggay capsule. So, this is not a sponsored video. Sinasabi ko lang kung ano yung mga nag-work talaga sa akin. Number one, yung mega malunggay. I took three to four times a day ng mega malunggay, lalo na nung mga bandang two to three months si baby. Ayan, mega malunggay capsule. And then number two, uh, mother nurture coffee and uh, ano yung choco mix. Yes, yan. Lagi yan, every morning at saka afternoon, iniinom ko yung coffee and yung uh, chocolate mix. Tapos, nung mga first few months ng breastfeeding journey ko, lagi akong umiinom ng soup na may malunggay. Okay, like halimbawa, tinola, tapos okay naman yung malunggay soup, malunggay egg soup. Tapos, uh, alam niyo yung mga clam, clam soup, yon iniinom ko din yan. And then, uh, I also ate oatmeal. As in, madaming-madaming oatmeal. Minsan gumagawa kami ng oatmeal cookies. And isa pa pala sa mga na-try ko is yung mga lactating treats or lactating uh, cookies. Ayun, hindi ko siya alam. Hindi ko alam kung nag-effect uh, nag sa akin yun. Pero, it makes me happy kasi nga, sweets. Tapos, di ba yung mga mummies or mga babae mahilig sa sweets. So, when you are happy, you produce more milk. Siguro, yun yung science doon. I also took calcium capsules, yan, para sa bones ng, ng nating mga mummies. And, alam niyo yung MC, M2 malunggay concentrate. Ito yon. I also drink that. And, yung pinaka talaga nakatulong sa akin, which is yung domperidone or motilium. Pero, Uh, konting disclaimer lang. So, kailangan itanong nyo muna sa physician nyo or sa doctor nyo or sa breastfeeding consultant nyo kung pwede nyo itake to. So, ako, uh, binigyan ako ng uh, binigyan ako ng option ng uh, pediatrician ni baby ko to take this para dumami yung milk ko. And I took this. And yun nga, lo and behold, together with Mega Malunggay and all the other Galactogogs that I take, dumami yung aking breast milk supply. And of course, syempre, tip number four, water. More, more water. As in, maraming maraming water. Pero, not to the point naman na uubusin mo yung isang galon na water, no? Siguro yung talagang recommended lang na 2 to 3 liters of water a day. So, bakit importante yung water? Kasi, the more na nagdededes si yung baby, nakukuha niya yung parang liquid liquid intake mo sa katawan mo. So, you have to refill that. Kasi kung hindi, ikaw yung manghihina. And kapag nanghihina ka at nagkasakit ka, maaapektuhan yung breast milk supply mo. So, ganun kahalaga yung water. Tip number five. Find your support group. Okay? Huwag kang makikinig dun sa mga tao na dinidiscourage ka nila na magpa-breast milk. Eh, wala ka namang, wala ka namang milk. Kaya kailangan i-formula mo yan. Ganyan, ganyan. Hindi tumataba yung milk mo. Ganyan, ganyan. So, if you really, really, really wanted to to breastfeed your baby, kailangan mong, uh, kailangan mong humingi ng tulong or ng support dun sa mga tao that will support your breastfeeding journey. Yung mga tao na alam mo na ipupush ka nila more than dun sa uh, more than dun sa papatigilin ka nila. Okay? More than so, sila pa yung magkukos ng worry mo. Punta dun sa mga tao that they will push you na magpa-breastfeed ka, na natuturuan ka nila kung paano Okay? Yung hindi ka nila ipipressure. Okay? So, you have to find your support group kapag gusto mo talaga magpa-breastfeed. Kasi et, ako, ito yung number one talaga na what keeps me going nung nagpapa-breastfeed ako is yung quote na nabasa ko na breastfeeding is 10% milk and 90% determination. So, you have to be determined kung talagang gusto mong magpa-breastfeed, kailangan buo yung loob mo, buo yung puso mo, buo talaga yung suporta ng husband mo, ng mga mother-in-law mo, or ng kapatid mo, ng, ng sarili mo mismo, ikaw mismo dapat, buo yung loob mo na magpa-breastfeed. Kasi yung mga first few weeks or first few months talaga, sobrang hirap. As in, mayroong mag magsusugat yung nipples mo, tapos uh, si baby 
nanggigising pa siya sa gabi, kumbaga mapupuyat ka, tapos kakapanganak mo lang, may mga tendency pa na baka magka-postpartum depression ka. So, isa yan sa mga kailangan mong i-consider. Kaya dapat, buo yung loob mo and prepared ka kapag ka magpapa-breastfeed ka. Because breastfeeding is not a joke. Hindi siya, di siya ganun kadali. Kailangan talaga, they say that it comes natural, yes. Pero, uh, kailangan mo talaga ng patience and ng determination and ng support group para malabanan mo and malagpasan mo and para magpatuloy ka sa breastfeeding journey mo. Ang ginawa ko nun, one at a time, talagang halimbawa, okay, sige, papadidein ko siya. I will continue my breastfeeding journey for one month. So, tapos natapos yung one month. O sige, for two months na naman. O, kung tas natapos yung two months, okay, tutuloy ko na six months. At tapos yung six months, hanggang sa one at a time, one at a time, kakayanin natin yan. Okay, so hanggang sa umabot na, hanggang ngayon, nag nagbe-breastfeed pa rin si Lucas. Although, breastfeed together with solids. Kung baga, mas more kami sa solid, nagbe-breastfeed na lang siya kapag uh, matutulog siya o kaya kapag uh, uh, kailangan niya ng comfort. Of course, ang lagi kong last tip is to pray, 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 pray. Okay? Walang ibang makakatulong sa atin, guys, kung hindi si Lord lang. Lalo na yung mga times na bagong, kapa, bagong panganak ka pa lang, tapos napipressure ka na gusto mong padidehin si baby, pero parang feeling mo walang lumalabas sa'yo. Feeling mo lang yun. So, you have to pray. Faith over feelings. Okay? So, kailangan mo mag-pray. Kailangan mo ng patience. And, kailangan na... Yun nga, sabi ko kanina, you have to be determined to do what you wanted to do. Stop stressing out, kasi yung stress, nakakababayan ng uh, milk supply. Kailangan mong iset yung mind mo na marami yung milk ko, marami yung milk ko. And then, sabi nga, diba, mind over matter. Okay, kung ano yung iniisip mo, yun yung mangyayari, and yun yung mangyayari sa katawan mo. Our mind controls our body. So, yung mindset mo yung utak mo that you have more more milk. And yun nga, you have to do your part also. You have to drink more water, you have to drink galactogogs, you have to be healthy. Wake up, always pray. Kailangan lagi ka nagpipray before you pump and before ka magpa-dedicate. Daddy, when you are feeling stressed, when you are feeling worried, lahat ng mga anxiety, naiisip mo lahat ng mga problems, lahat ng low milk supply mo, paano ko mapapadede si baby, which is very, very normal, lalo na sa first few days ng pregnancy. That's why, prayer is very, very important and very, very crucial kapag, ka, kapag ka, lalo na kapag ka panganak mo pa lang. So, that's it, guys. That's it, mommies. Yun yung most, for me, is the most complete guide for breastfeeding mommies or for low, low breast milk supply. So, I hope you learn from this video. I hope marami kang natutunan. And I hope i-share natin ito para mas marami pang mommies yung ating matulungan sa video na to. And I want to thank I want to give all the credits to the Lord kasi siya lang naman talaga ang na, siya lang talaga yung uh, nakasama ko for, for throughout this journey and syempre together with my husband together with my family and everything but the Lord gave me strength and the Lord strengthened me and the Lord gave me patience and determination para umabot ako ng 2 years and 3 months and counting pa sa pagbe breastfeed ko sa baby ko so if I will if luloobin pa ako magkakabibi kami ulit ibe breastfeed ko ulit siya because ang breast milk is very very sobrang powerful, sobrang magical and ito yung gift ni Lord eh gift ni Lord sa ating mga mommies and gift ni Lord sa ating mga babies so happy breastfeeding and uh, wag kang susuko uh, be determined and uh, just follow all these tips and you will be successful in your breastfeeding journey don't forget to subscribe to our channel thumbs up this video if you like this video share din nyo din sa mga friends nyo and comment down below kung nagustuhan nyo yung mga tips or kung may mga tips din kayo sa other mommies para makita nila and thank you for watching I hope you like this video thank you, bye